Hello and welcome back to the channel. Uh, I'm, today what I'm doing, I haven't made a video for a long time and I have a bunch of ideas uh, that have been rolling around in my head and I really, I've really been wanting to make a video but I haven't been able to motivate myself. So today's the day. I'm going to make this as brief as possible. So today's topic is as you can see here I have two of my helicopters and um, one is old old school the big one this is a T-Rex 450 SE um, this goes way way back I think I bought it in 2009 and then up front here we have the Isheen E160 which is quite a, a modern helicopter as you can see, fly barless, and this one, the old school one, has a fly bar. So, um, and so, what I wanted to do was, I've been doing a lot of research. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos, old older YouTube videos about setting up the old school uh, T Rex 450, and uh, it's been a long time since I've flown it. I bought it in 2009 or 2010, I'm not sure which. Um, and then I, I was basically a noob and uh, I ended up, my life ended up exploding and I lost my ability to fly this helicopter. So for 10 years, I didn't fly at all. So I bought this, I flew it, I don't know how many times, a couple dozen times or whatever. I was just sort of starting, starting to get used to it and then boom, couldn't fly it anymore for 10 years. So then I got back into the hobby a couple years ago and I was afraid to fly this. This, this helicopter's always scared the crap out of me because when it, when it winds up, oh my goodness, it sounds so serious compared to say the little E160 here and um, it has no stabilization except for the fly bar um, and basically you know you've got the gyro for the tail and that's it and you've got the the fly bar for stabilization and the rest is up to you and man I do not want to crash this so anyway the, the purpose of this video is to, um, I've, been, I've been changing the settings in my radio. I have an old, old radio. This is the Spectrum DX6i. This is the first real, quote unquote, uh, radio I bought, computerized radio. I bought it used. I'm not sure it's working properly, but it is what it is. This is the radio that I fly with my 450 and I've been going through the settings and making adjustments and then flying and then making adjustments watching videos researching trying to figure all this stuff out and um, and I also have notes from years and years ago that I made from I bought this helicopter used and um, the guy I bought it from he gave me all his settings so basically I just I just punched all his numbers into my radio and then I flew the helicopter because I knew nothing about this stuff, nothing. So um, anyway, I've been working on the radio settings lately in the last few days and I came across the menu option. I can't show you the screen because there's no backlight and there's too much reflection as you can see from the windows over there and um, there's no way you could see the screen. I had in, intended to show you the screen for the swash mix menu, but I can't. So anyway, there's a, there's a menu in the DX6i and other Spectrum radios, I'm sure, um, that's called swash mix. And what you have is you have, uh, I'll show you, I wrote this down since I can't show you the radio. Okay, so hopefully this isn't too blown out. There we go. So this is swash mix menu, and you have three items. You have aileron plus 60%, elevator minus 60%, and pitch plus 60%. Now, on, on, um, if you were to set up a new model 
and not change any values. I believe the default values are plus 60, plus 60, plus 60. But I was just watching a video recently and they said the defaults are plus 50, plus 50, plus 50. So I'm not sure, can't remember on this radio. But anyway, the reason I have minus 60 on my elevator is because um, for the mixing, uh, one of my servos is reversed. I'm, I'm guessing this is the reason. One of my servos is reversed and so then the, the elevator mix has to be reversed as well. I, I'm, I'm guessing it's the elevator servo that's reversed. But anyway, that's, that's why my, I have a one negative number. So what do these numbers mean? And I couldn't remember at all whatsoever so this, all of a sudden, I had the light bulb moment and I remembered what the swash mix was for. So, I just wanted to make a quick video. This video is already seven minutes. Unfortunately, not very quick, but that's me. So, um, what, what I wanted to do was just for anybody that's still doing old school helicopters like the T-Rex 450, where the mixing... Um, the swash mixing is done in the radio. It's not done in the helicopter. And in order for the three servos um, to move the swash in all of the necessary um, orientations, all those movements have to be mixed in the radio and then transmitted to the receiver in the helicopter. And then that will move the swash. So. What do these mixes mean? Well, it's actually quite simple. Okay, and it's very important. This is why I want to make a quick video about it. You've got aileron at six, plus 60% and then elevator at minus 60%. That could be plus 60 on your helicopter. And then you've got pitch at plus 60. So what this means is you have two types of pitches on or two types of pitch on a helicopter. You have collective pitch which everybody knows about so that's going to tilt the rotor one way or the other either up or down or, or neutral and so when you tilt the rotor up the helicopter goes up when you tilt the rotor down helicopter goes down when the blades are neutral then you know you're hovering or whatever. So um, the, the other type of pitch is cyclic pitch, and I totally forgot about that. So what cyclic pitch is, is, um, I don't know if I can demonstrate this at all. This is the next day, and when I watched the video back, I realized that I made a couple of big boo-boos. So I just wanted to insert this little bit and make a couple of corrections and a quick addendum. Okay, so in the upcoming video, I refer to the rotor disc as tilting in order to make the helicopter go forwards, backwards, left and right. However, I did some research. This is something that's confused me for basically most of my life about helicopter flight. I always thought that the rotor disc tilted, but it doesn't. What happens, it's all based on the pitch of the blades and the angle of attack of the blades. So, um, the rotor is rigid and all that changes is the blade pitch and the combination of you know the swash movement the swash moves the the blade pitch and the combination of um, all the movements all the pitch movements cause the helicopter to go up and down and left and right and forwards and backwards so I wanted to clear that up and the other mistake the other mistake I made in this, this um, video that's coming up, this portion that's coming up, is um, I have the 
rotor blades over here and I'm moving the aileron stick so I'm moving the stick right and left but I'm calling it elevator so I'm sure you'll realize that I I goofed because when I move the rotor disc toward the front then I start calling it elevator which is correct but when it's over at the side I'm calling it elevator and it's actually aileron so I wanted to clear that up I wanted to do a little addendum because another thing that I realized I left out uh, yesterday when I shot this video is I wanted to make it clear that these modern helicopters that are are fly barless and have electronic flight controllers uh, you know with all the gyros and, and the sensors and stuff they still have swash mixing but it's not generally done in the radio it's done in the flight controller and you can adjust you can make some adjustments in the radio using mixing and using travel adjust adjust for the servos and um, some other things but uh, you don't do the swash mixing in the radio it's done on the flight controller and helicopters like this little E160 you have no access to the flight controller so you can't change the swash mix it is what it is and you know you get what you get but on a lot of better uh, helicopters you know like um, uh, the OMP Hobby M2 which I'm getting soon um, they have flight controllers that have um, adjustments that you can make on the flight controller so if you want more responsive pitch cyclic pitch any of the directions or if you want more responsive collective pitch you can increase the amount they call it gain so you can inc increase um, cyclic gain or decrease if you want it you know tame it down or whatever but that's done on the controller so I just wanted to clear that up but if you were to put the blades like this at the side together and and you had the the helicopter on and the receiver on and you were to do elevator since they're at the side the rotor blades are at the side like this and you were to move the elevator uh, control left and right you would see these blades would be moving like that that is is your elevator cyclic pitch that's how much is this rotor going to tilt to one side or the other when you move the cyclic and you can control that amount and the same goes for I'm just gonna move this out of the way the same goes for elevator so you're gonna have this you know when you're giving input for elevator and you want the helicopter to go forward then you're gonna have the the rotors gonna pitch forward or the rotors gonna pitch backwards and that's the direction the helicopters gonna fly so the amount like given full elevator forward full elevator backwards full aileron right or left the amount that this rotor the total amount that this rotor is going to is going to pitch in whatever direction you've told it cyclic direction um, that is determined by the swash mix and that and that was the eureka moment i had so if you want let's say when you pitch the helicopter forward and it doesn't go as quickly as you'd like it to right so maybe it's a little slow it's a little sluggish or whatever which it, which was in my case last year um, I thought this thing flew like a bus compared to the smaller helicopters and it really frustrated me so what I did was I increased the elevator pitch number so I went from minus 60 um, because it's a minus number you go further down not further up so I went to minus 64 so that gave that meant that when I pushed the 
the elevator forward, then the helicopter pitched more and uh, more quickly forward or backwards, same thing. And the same with the aileron mix. So if, you, if your helicopter is not rolling fast enough for you, if it's not responsive enough, then you can increase the aileron swash number. So you'd go my, uh, plus 60, plus 62, plus 64, whatever. So that's those two. And then, of course, the pitch setting um, is to give you more swash movement. So you're going to get more pitch. So let's say when you are setting up the helicopter and you you put the um, you put the pitch gauge on the on the rotor and you do full positive and full negative and you find out that you're only getting you know uh, I don't know nine degrees of pitch and let's say you want twelve degrees of pitch um, so what you would do is you would increase go into your swash mix menu and you would increase the pitch number so you go plus 60 plus 62 plus 64 plus 66 plus 69 I had mine at plus 69 until I just put it back yesterday back to 60 because I'm still trying to figure this stuff out and like I said I don't know that much about this helicopter I'm not real comfortable flying it and stuff and so I'm experimenting right now but anyway that's what you want so if you wanted less pitch you would reduce that number obviously and if you want more pitch increase that number so I think that's um, that's about it so this is real down and dirty and I just wanted to put this information out and hopefully it'll help one of you out there and um, and that'd be great so thanks for watching and I look forward to making another video. Bye for now.